Did you know there was once a brilliant black inventor nicknamed the Black Edison? His name was Granville T. Woods, and his ideas changed the world of trains and electricity forever. Granville was born in 1856 in Columbus, Ohio. From a young age, he was fascinated by machines. Despite racism blocking him from formal education, he taught himself engineering while working in railroads and factories. By the 1880s, Woods started creating inventions that made railroads safer and faster. His most famous, the induction telegraph, a device that let moving trains communicate wirelessly with each other. For the first time, engineers could avoid deadly crashes by receiving real-time signals. His invention saved countless lives. Woods didn't stop there. He improved electrical systems for streetcars, making cities brighter and transport smoother. Every time you see a tram or electric train, you're seeing the legacy of his genius. But success came with struggles. Thomas Edison, one of the most powerful inventors of the time, claimed Woods stole his ideas. Woods fought back in court and won. But the lawsuits cost him dearly draining his finances. Racism made things worse. Investors turned their backs on him, forcing Woods to sell many of his patents for far less than they were worth. While white businessmen grew rich, Woods remained under constant financial pressure. In his later years, Woods fell ill. With little support, he lived modestly, surrounded only by his sketches and dreams for the future. He died in 1910, largely forgotten and poor but his impact never disappeared. Today, every safe train signal, every electric tram, and even the systems that keep modern subways running trace back to his work. Granville T. Woods proved that even when the world denies you credit, true genius leaves a mark that can never be erased. His story is a reminder. Not all heroes make it into the spotlight, but without them, the world would not move forward. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell for more untold stories.